Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nor Sabar Nabinti Abdul Rashid. I will be the first presenter in this video. The title Islamic Home Based Financing Musharaka Mutanakisa. A home financing is a loan made by a bank, mortgage company, or other financial institution for the purchase of a residence, either a primary residence, a secondary residence, or an investment housing. In an in other words, a loan obtained from a financial organization or bank to acquire a home. One of the most important decisions one may make in life is to buy a home. Islamic banking organization help people who want to buy a home using Sharia principle. House financing I is a Sharia compliant financing option for all type of residential properties, including house, flats, apartment, and condominiums. In 2006, Kuwait Finance House Malaysia Berhad introduced Malaysia first equity-based house financing facility under the Musharaka Mutanakisa concept, which is deemed more Sharia compliant than BBA contract. Musharaka Mutanakisa is a partnership agreement between two parties in which one party's installment gradually increases his share of the property until he owns the entire property. Musharaka Mutanakisa recognized three sorts of contract, which are Musharaka, Ijara, and al -Baid. Musharaka is the first contract, partners or shareholders, capitals, projects, luck, and siho are the pillars found in the Musharaka. The second contract is Ijara, or renting, which has six pillars, lesser, the tenant, the rented property, the benefits of the goods rented, rent payment and siho. al is the third contract and it contains four pillars, seller, buyer, siho, and contracted goods. Citibank falls into the group of non-bank commercial bank that offer Islamic banking as a secondary benefit. Citibank Malaysia Berhad use Musharaka Mutanakisa in their house loan products. Citibank Home Partner I is a house financing program offered by Citibank. Citibank Home Partner I is a Sharia compliant home-based financing facility based on the Musharaka Mutanakisa principle. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to my respected lecturer Dr. Muhammad Saiful Islam bin Ismail and my fellow classmate. My name is Nur Shuhada Betul Osman. My metric number is 2019257124. Today, I would like to present some issues and suggestions in the contract of Musharaka Mutanakisa Home Financing. First and foremost, let's identify the issue that arise in the contract of MM Home Financing. The first controversial issue is the interest rate as rental rate and the next issue is the issue of property maintenance. Interest rate in MM is using BFR which is Base Financing Rate. Thus, this is the main point why the Islamic home financing is different from conventional bank that use BLR, which is base lending rate. Nevertheless, the application of interest rate as a fundamental in determining the financing cost will charge the very amount of installment to the customer. Since the interest rate is always relying on the condition of financial world, overnight policy rates of BR and also BFR. Vulnerable interest rate will affect and burden the customer. As the rate charged by the financier is high, which will create the uncertainty just like the conventional bank. The second issue is the issue of maintenance and major repairs toward the MM property. In the classical view, each owner of the share which is bank and customer have to commit the responsibility in maintaining and bearing all costs of the asset. Bank should not leave all the maintenance and major repairs to be bear by the customer solely. Nevertheless, in the rarity practice, the bank will try to avoid any ownership that have the greater risk, liabilities and duties. Then, bank also argue as the customer ultimate intention is to own the property and not to rent property at certain period of time, so they should bear all the costs. Moreover, the customer name already recorded as the authorized owner in the document title, so it is relevant to leave all the maintenance costs to the customer. 
pertaining to the issue of interest rate, the amendment should be done to ensure the purpose of MM contract is aligned with the current practice at the Islamic banking industry. To achieve maslaha, some Islamic scholars suggest a rental rate regulation as the basis to replace the interest rate. Rental rate in the Islamic home financing is very practical because it is not too affected by the monetary fluctuation. Even though bank is less attractive to use rental rate because of low profit compared to interest rate, but rental rate is proven in providing advantages and benefit to the customer. Lesser rental rate indicates smaller amount of monthly installment than using interest rate. Next is the suggestion toward the issue of the property maintenance. Islamic banking operation and product have to do improvement to accomplish the Sharia goal that profit the humanity well-being. The first suggestion is the authority party and staff needs to be properly educated in the mechanism of Musharaka Mutanakisa Home Finance. Next, the legal documentation and operation must fulfill the both requirement of the Malaysian law as well as the Sharia legality. Last but not least, Sharia advisor have to direct things, supervising and reviewing its operation to ensure it's running smoothly and align with Sharia regulation. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Aina Binti Nizamuddin. My metric number is 2019257246. I am the next presenter for this video presentation. Issue of Documentation The Musharakah Mutanakisa Home Finance Contract is frequently different as another house financing agreement when it was stated that the bank owns 100% of the house and the consumer has no ownership, the Musharakah Mutanakisa Home Finance Contract become unclear. This agreement makes the bank responsible for the entire risk. The lack of a sharing aspect spe uh, specific in this contract while the Musharakah Mutanakisa is supposed to be a sharing partnership Contract is one of these uh, difficulties. As a result, the bank will need to draft a new contract to ensure that the Musharaka Mutanakisa contract is conducted in accordance with Sharia guidelines. Other risks, such as operational risks, may arise as a result of Sharia concern. For example, when the bank is required to pay for increased costs as a result of contract revisions. Furthermore, the bank is responsible for any benefits or payments incurred during a previous contract. The issue of risk sharing between bank and customer. The customer owns the legal title to the residence from the start of the contract and the bank only serves as trustee. It can conclude that the idea of Musharaka does not apply in this concept of fin home financing by Musharaka Mutanakisa. Issue of moratorium period. Moratorium referring to the suspension of any agreement or law. It means that the customer of the bank do not have to pay monthly installment for their loans uh, for six months, but they are worried about the interest charge imposed after the moratorium period. And at the same time, uh, the bank also will face problem when the customer did not want to pay after the moratorium period. To avoid deferment of payments after the moratorium, the bank can use the method of imposing a penalty of 1% and settle the problem. The, uh, the charge, the, which is 1%, is on the outstanding monthly payment amount only and not from the entire balance of the financing. The purpose is to give awareness to the bank customer to settle loan installment according to the uh, prescribed period. The bank should state the clear statement about the risk sharing between bank and the customer. The purpose is to make the uh, to make sure that the customer clear about the agreement and the bank should give a few days for them to read and sign the agreement of Mutanakisa contract. It is a contract of partnership between two parties where one partner gradually buys the whole parts of the part of the property. They need to implement the elements of partnership so the concept of Musharaka Mutanakisa is used for the contract. It must be considered a proper partnership because the parties concerned willingly enter into a contract to agreement for joint investment and the sharing of profit and risk. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zulfa Usta binti Abdullah. 
I would like to continue with theories, concept, and conclusion. Okay, firstly, I would like to continue with theories and concept of Musharoka Mutanakisa. So, Musharoka Mutanakisa has been applied based on home financing. The word Musharoka comes from the word Sharoka, which means join or partnership. While Mutanakisa comes from the word Nakosa, which means diminish. So, literally, Musharoka Mutanakisa means diminishing partnership. So, it is a combination of Musharoka, Bayon, and Ijara contract. In this contract, the client needs to promise that he will buy the share of the bank. So, the client moves to the house and pays monthly house rents. And he gradually buys the share of the bank. So at the end, the client buys the total share of the bank and the bank transfers the ownership to the client. Most scholars believe it is a legal charity compatible as it is stated in Al Quran, Surah An Nisa, verse 12. Fahum Shuraka Umfit Tuluth which means so they share in a third of the property. So according to Sharia, the majority of Hanafi scholars as well as a certain Maliki, Shafi'i and Hanbali scholars believe that the law of combining contract is valid and permitted. So they claim that it is a requirement in agreement with the convenience original law and that is not prohibited as long as no presumption prohibits it. So there are some scholars that disagree to combine the contract, which is Zahiria. They believe combining contracts as invalid and not allowed in Sharia because it contains element of doubt and it is similar to interest-based loan. So the use of Musharoka Mutanakisa based home financing have been reached the bank will be less attracted to use the rental rate because it will produce a lower profit than the interest rate. So this means that in terms of home financing, the rental rate can be utilized as a substitute for the interest rate because it less affected by monetary fluctuation. Next, to reflect the real intention of the parties, the lawyers producing the legal documents must be thoroughly informed on the functioning mechanism of the Musharoka Mutanakisa based home finance. So this is uh, required to guarantee that the legal document must meet both Malaysian and Sharia criteria. And the last one is conclusion. So, in conclusion, Islamic finance develops an increasingly difficult and competitive worldwide global economy. So, time over time, they have upgraded the product that they offer in banking. So, Musharoka Mutanakisa is one of the most common financing options. However, they also have some opportunities and a lot of potential for improvement and some obstacles in making this product customer worthy. So, Musharoka Mutanakisa product is more Sharia compliant than the previous finance product which is by Umbi Thamanil Ajil. And I think that's all from us. Thank you.